Hey guys, welcome back to Midwest Long Range. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a new optic, so stick with me, you won't wanna miss it. All right guys, like I said, we got a brand new optic to take a look at. This is the new offering from Bushnell. This is the Match Pro ED 5 to 30 by 56 with, on a 34 mil tube. This thing's pretty cool. Like I've heard about it, heard people talking a little bit, seen some commercials from Bushnell, but I'd yet to see one out running around. I shoot a lot of NRL 22 matches at Gadsden Shooting Center in Iberia, Missouri. And it just so happens one of the Missouri Misfits had this scope and I just couldn't help myself. Had to go over and take a look at it. And he was kind enough to send it home with me, let me borrow it so that I can make this video and show it to you guys because there's just not a ton of info on this thing that I've been able to find from a precision rifle kind of point of view. So like I said, five to 30 power, it does have the th integrated throw lever with like three positions, you know, fast focus eyepiece. Now it is locking turrets. So you do have to pull those out in order to be able to turn them. The turrets are very positive, very tactile. Um, they feel really good, actually. Um, and I say actually just because it is a budget optic. I think MSRP on Bushnell's website for this is like 699 bucks. So it, now, one thing about this scope is it does have a two rev indicator that pops up, a little red guy right there on top as you come around. I don't even think you gotta make it all the way two rev. I think as you pass eight mils on your way to 10 it pops up there so and it does have zero stop which it's set a little different on this one right now but uh i'm telling you so far from what i've seen this is a really killer little scope and especially for the money i really like the reticle in it it reminds me a lot of the night force uh, Mill XT, which obviously I like to shoot. That's one of my scopes that I have. But uh, let's let's get this thing here on the bench. Let's take a few shots through it, and uh, you know we'll I'll go ahead and I'll put the trigger cam on here so that you guys can see through the optic like I am. Given it's not going to give you the true quality of the glass, but it'll give you an idea of what the reticle looks like and how we're able to use it. So uh, let's get it going. We're gonna go ahead, uh, I've got some CCI standard velocity. We're here on the uh, CZ 457. This is my Lil Jabberled unit. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll take a few shots here at 52 yards and then we may move down to the 95 yard berm. Let's uh, see what we get. Man, it's split in two groups there. If it just pick one, we'd be in pretty good shape. Sometime with CCI, we get that. Let's shoot another one. I really like the target dot on this. I really like the whole layout of this reticle, really. Reminds me a lot of like my uh, Apex Rival or my Night Force. Man, what happened there? Got some fires going on here. Load up 10 more. Uh, we'll transition down to some of the steel targets down at 95 yards. And uh, then we may take the uh, rifle out on the tripod and just see if we can uh, get kind of a look at distance. See what kind of, see how this glass handles looking a little further out. Got some weeds down there. Let's see if we can get the middle here. Yeah. 
Shot low. Low and right. We appear to be about four tenths, maybe. And then probably a half mil right. I'll try that. Bam! So what that tells me is the sub tensions and the travel are pairing up really well. Uh, take your measurement, make your correction, and there it is. You wanted to confirm? There it is. We are getting some group deviation with that uh, CCI. You can see where that one hit uh, just to the uh, left of the circle there. Hold the right edge. There we go. Wonder if we can go all the way around. Boom. Boom. Oh, shot high. There it is. Hmm. I like the scope. It's looking really good. You got a little bit of shooting down there in. I need to go down there and do some weed eating so we can see the KYL rack. But uh, let's get this scope out here on a tripod and just kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when we're trying to look at distance, maybe uh, more center fire appropriate distances. We'll look out here across some of these fields. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so we're going to start off here. We're pulled down on five power. We're going to look at a T-post right around 120-ish yards, I believe, maybe a little more. And then we're going to go to this tree line out here at just over 1,000 yards. Um, so let's take a quick look. We'll see, how, see if any of the uh, parallax lines up appropriately and kind of go from there. So here's our T-post. We're going to pull it in. Check our parallax. That looks pretty good. We're probably up around 20 power or maybe a little more. So right now I'm right in I'm right in between the 100 and 150 yard marks on my parallax wheel. So I'd say that's pretty darn close. So now we're gonna go back here to this tree line. We have to spin our parallax wheel, pull it in on 30 power, and that's where it is. We're at infinity there. That's infinity. We'll back it up about a thousand. See if it clears up. We can really see some pretty good definition back there. What you're seeing there. I mean, I've got this thing pulled back to about 18 to 20 power. That seems to be to about the point where I get the best definition at that distance. We can suck it in on 30 power like you saw. Um, we do get a little bit of, uh, we get a little bit of distortion, but again, the price point on this scope is $699 on their website. And I have no affiliation with Bushnell whatsoever. I just thought it was a heck of a darn good deal, really. And, uh, just kind of wanted to take a look at it for my own devices but as you can see here this is just a solid little scope from what i've seen i haven't got to shoot it in a match yet i know uh, it has been shot in a couple of matches i think by the missouri misfits guys and uh Deej seemed to really like it so he he thought it was a solid scope from what i could tell guys that kind of 
wraps up what I wanted to do here today. I wanted to give you a, a kind of a little bit closer look at the Bushnell Match Pro ED 5 to 30 by 56. Um, threw it on the CZ 457 sitting in the MDT XRS stock with a Timony trigger. Uh, got all the DIP parts in it and just a, a really solid little gun, Wilger barrel, all that kind of stuff. Thought it'd be a great candidate. I think this scope would be a amazing scope for NRL 22, PRS, Rimfire, and even some centerfire stuff if that's your budget. I don't see why it wouldn't work. So from what I can tell, it tracks good, runs good. What is there else to ask for, really? Um, but that's, uh, that's what I got, guys. So that's it for today on Midwest Long Range. Come back and see me next time, so stay safe and keep shooting.